Unit 4, Lesson 4A, Exercise 3 My ideal home is in the city. It's a contemporary flat in an impressive modern building in a lively area. It's conveniently located for shops, restaurants and cinemas. Inside, it isn't at all cramped. In fact, it's very spacious. Lesson 4C. Exercise 2. Speaker 1. I got a new bed two weeks ago, and to be honest, I don't think I've had a good night's sleep since I got it. Speaker 2. I've got a new next-door neighbour. I saw him carrying some chairs into his flat last night. I was just going out, so I didn't have time to have a word with him. Speaker 3. I'm sorry. My husband is on a camping trip in the mountains this weekend. There's no way to get in touch with him until Monday. Speaker 4. I couldn't take part in the race last weekend. I made a big effort to get fit for it, but I wasn't ready. And 42 kilometres is a long way. Lesson 4C. Exercises 4 and 5. 1. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like an application form for housing benefit. Certainly. This is the form you need. Thank you. Do I return it to you? No, you don't. You need to complete the form and then send it by post to the local authority. But if you require assistance in completing the form, we can offer that here. I see. Thank you. Is there anything else? Yes, there is one thing. Is there currently a long delay? I need the money quite urgently. All new applications are treated as a high priority. There shouldn't be a delay of more than a week. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Two. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to this event organised by Rooftops, our local charity for homeless people. I know that many of you are regular supporters of our charity and we are extremely grateful for that support. As many of you are aware, the number of people who regularly sleep rough in our town centre is continuing to increase sharply. And I know that many of you already show your support in ways that do not involve money. For example, talking to them, giving advice, treating them as human beings. But we all know that there is only one long-term solution to their problem. They need a job. That is why today I am appealing for money for our charity's new project called Back to Work. This project has one main aim, to help homeless people to gain employment. But I'm not here just to ask for money. I'm here to make a proposal. I want you to become our partners. 3. Last year I took part in the big sleep out with a group of friends from school. I was quite anxious about it, to be honest. The weather forecast said the temperature was going to be minus four degrees Celsius that night. In fact, I was so worried that I almost didn't turn up. But I didn't want to let my friends down, so I found all my warmest clothes. I had about four jumpers on, and I borrowed my brother's sleeping bag. And, in fact, I wasn't cold at all. Well... Only my face, but it was fine. We had a great time because there were about 50 people doing the sleep out all together and we knew quite a few of them. And the fact that it was freezing cold made us feel like we had really achieved something. Lesson 4G Exercises 1 and 2 both photos show houses. The house in photo B is in a fantastic place, 
with lovely views down to the beach. The house in photo A is right by the beach. The house in B stands on its own, whereas the house in A is too close to other houses, so there wouldn't be much privacy. The house in photo B is much bigger than the house in photo A. The house in A doesn't look very spacious. It isn't much bigger than a bungalow. I think I'd rather stay in the house in photo B. One reason is that I'm a keen windsurfer, and the beach looks ideal for that. Finally, I much prefer older houses, as they are generally cosier and more charming. The house in A looks a bit boring to me.